I mean, if, yeah. <laughs> can I feel, really feel that little vibration? <laughs> like, so fast. Is that crazy? Yeah. Um, See if you can count how fast your heartbeat is. I always say, oh, yeah. you could do all the research in the world and say, yes, this hummingbird species is in really big trouble and we need to save it, yeah. but if nobody cares about hummingbirds, then you're not going to be able to do anything. It's good. So now you guys are the runway. Do you feel his little heartbeat? Yeah. So fast. So now he's going to sit and then he's going to fly away. So hold really still. <laughs> Did that scare you? <laughs> yeah, one of 40 or 50 sites in the West, and we're all connected through this hummingbird monitoring network, so we all share our data so we can compare. If a site south of us sees a lot of birds and we don't see any, that can give us an idea of sort of what's changing, what's going on. All right, there you go. Thank you. It's important to know about hummingbirds because you need to experience new things to actually like live. Like learning new things is like eating or breathing. You, you can't truly live without them. So wrap them up. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna measure his little leg. Look at that tiny leg. Okay, so we're gonna give him a band size D. The number is K46671. So we want this to fit kind of like a watch or a bracelet. So not too tight and not too loose. There we go. And we always check and make sure that it spins. We're measuring his wing. It's kind of like when you go to the doctor and they measure how tall you are. Because we can't ask him to just stand there and measure how tall he is, right? So 44 wing, he's a little guy. So he's growing a bunch of new feathers. So we call it a pin feather and it looks like a little flower bud. And then the feather kind of blooms out of that pin. So if you look on the back of his head, see those pins? Yeah, he has a lot. I think you should do it three more times just for the 2.6. Watch, see how she's smacking her lips? And you can actually see her little tongue. Watch for her tongue to flicker in and out. See that? Oh, look at that, you guys. I saw it. It's super thin. So a lot of people think hummingbird beaks are like a straw, but they can actually open it just like a normal bird. We've had one hummingbird who's come all five years, a male calliope, which is kind of cool. I just think it's remarkable that hummingbirds fly clear to Mexico and Central America and can find their way back to Jennifer's house year after year. I just, it's amazing to me. It's like you've made a new friend and then just got but if you love something, you have to let it go. Goodbye. Hey, did you see he landed on that branch over there? Yeah. Yeah.